Well, good morning to you. I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. Cows. And uh, yesterday it was almost hot. Today it's cold. Light snow flurries here and there. Welcome to Texas weather. Where if it gets below 40, people are just freaking out. I know. You folks where it really gets cold. Idaho, etc. Y'all are laughing and it's okay. Sometimes Texas deserves to be laughed at. But anyway, I'm going to a flea market. Hopefully I'll get there and the people show up because, as I said, for Texas it's just, well, it's chilly with a really strong wind. That's enough to drive most people inside. Well, okay, we've reached the, ah, and the rain's starting to fall. We've reached the flea market. Yes, it's, it's cold. Burr. <laughs> <laughs> have you gotten any records lately i'll take a look at your 45s here i don't know if can't remember if i've seen them or not but oh i've got most of the ones i've seen already Five dollars each. Some were cracked, broken, all pre-worn. Oh well. All right. I'm gonna become a mall ninja. Get all my tactical gear. Man, I remember when I was a kid. All we had to play with was a stick and a spoon, maybe some broken glass. That's some that's some pretty intricate stuff for somebody to play with there. I'm assuming that's a toy. Haven't seen anything good yet. Just that couple of little handfuls of nothing 45s. But I am the eternal optimist. Finally, some music I will not complain about. All right, bet I've seen these before. Pretty sure I have. Bill, Bill Justice Ronchi yet again. That must have been the best-selling thing Sun Records ever put out. Yeah, I know I've seen these. 99.99% sure. Remember that little box that is the same as always. Yeah, I've seen these. Oh, all right. Good old Pat Boone. More Pat Boone. Now this is one busy stall. It's got stuff. There's nothing for me, I guess. Well, that's it for that flea market. Nothing. And, yeah, to be expected, really. This time of year in the frailness of the average Texan to get out into anything less than ideal temperatures, don't you know? Okay, while we're driving, I mentioned the uh, album coming out on Bear Family. That's a German company that <laughs> they've done uh, incredible reissue series on music. Country, rockabilly, you know, just whatever, but I mean, they'll put out like a 10 album set on an artist with exhaustive research lots of outtakes unissued songs books that by themselves are worth you know 20 or 30 bucks that go along with the set and uh, part of my bucket list was getting an LP put out on that label so let's go on to more places but be looking for it it's Max Stevenson is in the groove boys and ain't that right an unconventional
Salute Sun Records or something like that. found a record here and I've been coming by here for a long long time but I'm persistent I mean there's no reason out here in the middle of essentially nowhere that there shouldn't be a good record show up I don't know there's always records in the back and they're priced pretty high so it may be that there is a uh, eBay dealer or somebody just getting rid of their junk here I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, I've never seen this. 78s. Yes. Look at that, though. Hmm. What a good looking LP. What label? Oh, man. Graham, Texas. Oh, that's cool. And. Oh, we got 45s now. Look at that. Man. Today might be the day to change my opinion. Hopefully I got here before anybody else did. Well, it's been months. This place is way, way out from anywhere. Several records by Floyd Tillman, a country singer. Honestly, he did not have a good voice. He tended to waver and go off key quite a bit, and that was like his thing. I don't like that thing. No, don't like it at all. Wrote some good songs, though, and made a lot of money. Maybe I'm doing wrong with singing on key or trying to. Twenty-five cents each. So far, so nothing. that is so I'm going to buy it. Probably a pop record judging by everything else that's here. I'm glad when that guy comes in with the camera but he talks himself a lot. I'm sure they're talking about me. Hmm. Jimmy McCracklin, The Walk. It's worth a quarter. I gotta make sure they don't rip the labels off. Uh, no. Pop record. Marty Robbins, Gunfighter Ballads. There we go. There's some... I think that's a good record. Well, I found records here finally. Would you look at that? Just like that. 
always look at the Vic label. Always look for Joe Clay. Tequila Mama by Johnny Little John. No parking here. That looks like a good hit record. And I am a fan of good hit records. By hick, I just mean honky tonk country or backwoods sounding. What is that? Huh, I don't know. I bet it's bad country, but I'm still getting it. There's two copies. It'll either be two copies of a really good one or two copies of something at 50, 25 cents each. I don't care. I don't think that's anything good, but I'll get it and make sure. I think it's going to be a polka or some crap. You know, that's Cliff Richard and the Drifters. It's common. But that is one fine rocking record with great guitar. It, it, it's just that good. Hey, look at there. That's a decent bopper. Eddie Nowak for a quarter. Last handful. It's a small handful. Well, look at there. That's uh, one of Kenny Rogers' first records, and it's a good record. That's, that's rockabilly. Okay, I'm pleased. Got me a little handful of records. What is this? I don't want to know. New Orleans Owls. It's too beat up, though. May have seen these at another time. Well, and a bit of good news, that record dealer stuff is gone, I think. About time, it was like 10 years or so. No exaggeration with the same stuff over and over. Well, I'm very pleased. I've got to look up a few. I've got a few maybe hits, maybe misses. We'll sure find out. I do believe the Curtis Lee is a decent one, though. I'll make sure. You know I do. Now you let that be a lesson to you young folks. When, when you keep going to a place and they never have anything. If you're going by a stop, you might find something. I did. Sorry, I'm making the funny voices again. I've been told not to do that. All right, let's go on into, from the middle of nowhere to a, yeah, medium-sized yawner of a Texas town, Greenville. But I have found great things in Greenville. And you know what's just north of Greenville? Wolf City. Well, I'm not going to Wolf City today. I'm gonna, well, I think I've mined that area dry. And the house that all that good stuff was in has been knocked down anyways. Well, cool, cool, cool. That Curtis Lee is 100 to $140 record. It's supposed to be rockabilly and it's in nice shape. I just gotta pull that tag off of it gently with some, uh, lighter fluid so I'm rather pleased so far today went from a nothing day to a something day and I like my days to be something days there's a lesson in there for all of us well doggone my main place here in Greenville is gone it has shut down and that's a shame I like that place it always had good stuff oh well let's see if there's anything else in Greenville but I don't think there is. Goodbye, Greenville. I, I hardly knew ye. Caddo Mills. Let's see if they've got a antique place. Yeah, there's one. Let's go check it out. Oh, Lord, I do think I'm in the, the realm of the Karens. I'm going 
got to be very quiet. Hmm, nothing. Let's go hit a half price books on the way home and then I'm gonna go home. My lovely bride has cooked me some lunch. Yeah, it's just lunchtime. It just looks dark 30 here. Not many 45s for a half price. It's a northern soul. I made an epic find here. Rare rockabilly in one handful. Miller Sisters on the flip. Some really great stuff. I like that. There's some Sun Record reissue. Don't need it for 10 bucks though. Nice to see. There's my old buddy Jimmy Haggett. I knew him. Kenny Parchman. Do that. Have some good stuff. You know, I passed on that soul record because it was eight dollars, and uh, you know it sold anywhere from five to ten. One time, one sold for like fifty-five bucks. I checked on it, but you know that's a lot to invest in a record that you may have to end up eating. And I don't care if you've got guacamole or soy sauce. That record's not going to taste very good. So anyway. I guess that's it for the day. I'm gonna go home in just a bit and have me some lunch and uh, start cleaning out all sorts of stuff. I've gotta get rid of uh, thousands of 45 records and a whole lot of 78s in anticipation of a move. More on that later. But if you got some questions about it, message me, let me know because, you know, I'll put that stuff out cheap. You know what I'm saying? Except for few items. Maybe not them. Maybe I'll just carry those with me. Catch you later.